beautiful beaches, the birthplace of rum. What more could you ask for? In today's video, we will be talking about the latest Barbados COVID-19 travel updates that are effective as of October 16, 2020, and based on guidelines from the Barbados Ministry of Tourism. This is Karen from Trending Travel, back with another quality video. We will be discussing all you need to know about the latest Barbados travel updates plus more, so we encourage you to watch the entire video. Also, remember to like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when we post new travel updates. And remember to share our videos. So let's get right into it. Barbados reopened its borders to all international travelers on July 12, 2020. In our previous update, we discussed mandatory testing for travelers from high and medium risk countries, the introduction of monitoring for travelers from high risk countries, change in risk ranking for the United Kingdom from medium risk to high risk, and the testing options for the second COVID test on the island. Now, let's move on to the new update and travel protocols if you're traveling to Barbados as of October 16, 2020. There is a change in risk category for Canada. So, before we get further into this, let's take a quick look at the different risk categories. Barbados has placed travelers into four different risk categories, namely high risk, medium risk, low risk and very low risk countries. You may pause the video and take a look at the list of countries in the different risk categories. Previously, Canada was placed in the medium risk category, but as of October 16, 2020, Canada is now categorized as a high risk country in accordance with the country risk assessments conducted by the Barbados Ministry of Health and Wellness. And as such, persons traveling from or transiting through Canada will be required to follow these protocols. Persons traveling from Canada are encouraged to take the PCR test a maximum of three days before arrival. If for some reason you are unable to get a negative test result in time for your trip, you will be tested on arrival in Barbados. Persons who will be taking the COVID test on arrival should consider that they will remain in quarantine until they have received their negative test result. After receiving your negative test results, you will be able to proceed to your pre-approved place of stay where your movements will be restricted. This means that you won't be allowed to leave the property and you will have limited access to certain areas on the property until you receive your second negative COVID test after 4 to 5 days of restricted movement. Once the COVID test result is negative after being retested, you will be cleared by health officials and will be free to enjoy the island. Now, here are the general protocols for traveling to Barbados as of October 16, 2020. Persons traveling from a high-risk country should do the following. Before arrival, Complete the online immigration and customs form at travelform.gov.bb and submit within 24 hours prior to your travel date. Next, you will need to take your COVID test. Except for persons traveling from Canada, it is mandatory for travelers from the high-risk category to take a COVID-19 PCR test within three days before their travel date. The negative test results should be uploaded at travelform.gov.bb and don't forget to travel with a copy of your test results. Here's what you need to expect on arrival in Barbados. You should present your copy of the negative COVID-19 test result in English. Your results will then be screened for validity by a health official. Expect to undergo health screening at the airport. This is what you need to know about the test results. If you haven't submitted proof of a negative COVID-19 PCR test result or the test is not validated, you may be denied entry to the country. Persons from high-risk countries with a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result will be required to remain with restricted movement at a designated holding hotel or approved villa at their own expense 
or free of charge at a government facility and will be monitored for seven days after arrival. Travelers will be retested four to five days after the first accepted negative test. If the result of the second test is negative, the traveler can now enjoy unrestricted movement into the country. However, if the test result is positive, you may request from the Ministry of Health and Wellness the option to self-isolate at your own expense, at your hotel or villa, or at a government-approved isolation property. Or, the next option is to be transported to another accommodation for isolation. After recovery, you will have the option to resume your vacation or return home. For persons traveling from a medium-risk country, the protocols before arrival are the same as with persons traveling from the high-risk countries. So, you would complete your immigration and customs form and take your COVID test. Here's what to expect on arrival in Barbados. The protocols on arrival are also the same as with persons traveling from the high-risk countries. Similarly, you would present a copy of your test results and undergo a health screening. Here's what you need to know about the test results if you're traveling from a medium-risk country. If you haven't submitted proof of a negative COVID-19 PCR test result, or if the test result is not validated, you may be denied entry into the country. Persons traveling from medium-risk countries who arrive with a negative COVID-19 test result will be permitted to leave the airport after clearance by immigration, customs and health officials. Persons traveling from medium-risk countries will also be monitored daily for the onset of symptoms for a period of seven days after arrival. Travelers will be required to retest within four to five days after the first accepted negative test. However, if the test result is positive, you may request from the Ministry of Health and Wellness the option to self-isolate at your own expense, at your hotel or villa, or at a government-approved isolation property. Or, the next option is to be transported to another accommodation for isolation. After recovery, you will have the option to resume your vacation or return home. For persons traveling from a low-risk country, you will need to do the following before arrival. Complete your online immigration and customs form at travelform.gov.bb and submit within 24 hours prior to your travel date. Next, take your COVID test. Even though taking the test is not mandatory for persons traveling from low-risk countries, it is strongly recommended to take a COVID-19 PCR test before arrival in order to fast-track the airport processing time. Here's what you should expect on arrival. You should present a copy of your test results if you have one and undergo a health screening. Now, here is what you need to know about the test results if you are traveling from a low-risk country. If you haven't submitted proof of a negative COVID-19 PCR test result or the test is not validated, you will be required to take a test on arrival. Persons traveling from low-risk countries who arrive with a negative COVID-19 test result will be permitted to leave the airport after clearance by immigration, customs and the health officials. However, if the test result is positive, you too will have similar options for isolation as with persons traveling from the high and medium risk countries. For persons traveling from a very low risk country, here's what you need to do before arrival. Complete the online immigration and customs form at travelform.gov.bb and submit within 24 hours prior to your intended travel date. Know that persons from countries within the very low risk categories are not required to take a COVID-19 PCR test prior to arrival in Barbados. On arrival at the airport, expect to undergo a health screening. Persons traveling from countries within the very low risk category can proceed to immigration, baggage claim and customs and will then be permitted to leave the airport and start their vacation after clearance by Immigration, Customs and the Health Officials. Here's what you need to know about the test results if you're traveling from a very low-risk country. Persons traveling from very low-risk countries 
who have not traveled to or transited through any country designated as high, medium, or low risk within 21 days prior to travel to Barbados will not be required to take a COVID-19 PCR test prior to or on arrival. If for some reason you are required to be tested and the test result is positive, you too will have similar isolation options as with persons traveling from high, medium and low risk countries. Next, let's look at the protocols for in-transit passengers. All in-transit passengers must undergo a health assessment, which may include a temperature check and a brief interview by a health official. All in-transit passengers from high, medium and low-risk countries must have proof of a valid negative COVID-19 test result prior to arrival in Barbados within the stipulated time associated with the country's risk category. Note that in-transit passengers from high, medium and low-risk countries without evidence of a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test may be denied entry into Barbados. Now, let's look at the considerations for children. Travelers under 5 years of age will not be required to have a COVID-19 PCR test unless they are symptomatic or any member of the travel party has a positive test result. Also. Unaccompanied minors will be required to have a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result in order to enter Barbados. There you have it. Thanks for watching. If you find this new update helpful, please like the video and let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more important travel updates. Remember, we want you to stay safe. Barbados or other destinations could make travel changes or close their borders at any time. Therefore, please accept full responsibility to seek up-to-date information about all possible risks before making any bookings or other arrangements. See you in our next video.